Hello PC Hockey fans, I'm Nick Rojas. Well, it was the start of the much anticipated season this past weekend as the Friars went to Ohio State to take on the Buckeyes for two games. Despite falling just short on Friday night, they managed to leave the Buckeyes State with a win on Saturday, winning 2-1 in overtime. This week they have an exhibition game against the United States U18 team as they get prepared for next weekend's road games against North Dakota. Let's start the show. Hi, I'm Tom Parisi and you're watching This Week in Friars Hockey. If you like offense, you had to like Game 1 of the weekend. While it had all the characteristics of an early season game with some mistakes leading to goals, the game was back and forth as the contest was tied up five times throughout the game. The difference in this one was the penalties, as the Friars faced an uphill battle as the Buckeyes went on the power play late in the game and scored 28 seconds into overtime. The next night was more reminiscent of a game that you would see late in the season between two very good teams with postseason aspirations. In an exciting and close game, the Friars were able to return the favor to Ohio State and win in overtime on Brian Pinot's game winner, four minutes and 15 seconds into the overtime. John Gillies bounced back with an impressive 26 saves to only one goal allowed, as he and the Friars sent the 2,900 Buckeye fans home unhappy. I'm joined now on the show by junior defenseman Tom Parisi. Tom, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Of course. So the first game goes down to the wire. You guys come out on the losing end of an overtime game, 5-4. to four. The next game, bounce back, win a tight 2-1 game. What do you think was the biggest difference between Friday night and Saturday's game? Uh, well, Friday night we were just in the box the whole game. We just took too many penalties. Um, and they scored three power play goals late in the third, which really killed us. And Saturday night only took one penalty, um, which really helped us out. So... And you had two solid performances Friday and Saturday. You scored two points on Friday night's game, a goal and an assist. You logged a ton of minutes. How do you feel it was to come off with such a hot start to start the season? Um, it's always good to start strong. Um, my D partner was there for me all, all weekend, and the guys really, every guy on the ice helps, helps each other out um, to make sure that everyone's playing their game. So, um, yeah, it's always good to start off strong, um, and it was good to come out with a 1-1 series. So. You had three freshmen play, you know, extended ice time alongside you this weekend, two of them defensemen. How do you feel they did in their first D1 action? I thought they did great. I thought Wallman and Day both looked very comfortable out there. Um, they were moving the puck, they were moving their feet, and they were playing defense, and they were doing everything uh, they should have. And the schedule is a little bit interesting for you guys this year. You have two big road games to start off the season, regular season games, and you come back here for an exhibition game on Thursday. Is that something that affects your routine a little bit, or is that something that just doesn't phase you guys? Um, it doesn't phase us. I mean, going on the road the first weekend is always a little challenging because getting new guys acclimated to the schedule, um, getting all the way out there with the flights. But uh, Thursday is just another game, and we're just going to uh, try to get better for NODAC, So. And lastly, big question here. Uh, you're, on the, you're on the road in Ohio. You were in a hotel. Who is the worst roommate to have on the team and why? I'd have to say Brandon Tanev just because he's never sleeping and he's always blasting house music in the room. So <laughs> definitely him. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a good answer to me. Yeah. Well, Tom, thanks for coming on the show today. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. This Thursday, the puck drops at 7 as the Friars welcome some American teenagers into Schneider. The USA U18 team, which has recently played good games against collegiate foes Michigan and Miami, will provide Friars head coach Nate Lehman a chance to play his whole lineup as they get another chance to tune things up before heading over to the Midwest to challenge number three North Dakota in a battle between two top five teams. We'll have next week's full preview on the next episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. That'll do for today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. A big thank you to my guest Tom Parisi for joining me on the show. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for all your coverage of PC men's hockey all season long. From Schneider Arena, I'm Nick Rojas.